Hey what's up, I'm Jacob Hager and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to do a tire tap. I actually mean I'm just going to tell you how to do it and Chris is going to show us how to do it. I'm actually going to show you how to do it on a coaster at the end of this. If you have a cassette, this is a fairly easy trick to learn. It, uh, it just takes a little bit of balance, a little bit of commitment. If you have a coaster, it takes a lot of freaking balance. But I'm going to pretend I have a cassette, so I'm just going to lock this crank right there. So when you're doing this, you want to come up out of the ramp almost like a 180. It's easier if you do a 180 because then you come to a dead stop and you lock on that wheel and then you can just roll back in. So if you do the full 180, come up here, put pedal pressure down, you're going to lock your back wheel up and then you just push your pedal down to pop your back wheel up and then in. That's easy. Now if you want it to look a little more stylish, you can come up sideways. The easiest way to kind of do an alley-oop. Now come up like this, do an alley-oop. That way when you're like this, you're rolling backwards so that when you put that pedal pressure down, your wheel stops then you're sideways, then you kind of just give it a little crank in, turn your head and your bars, and just aim right into the quarter, right into the transition. Like I said, it's a lot easier on a cassette. You're actually using pedal pressure because for me to get in my balance point on a coaster, I have to be almost backwards. And I've fallen, like looped out so many times on this. Whereas a cassette, as long as you have a lot of pedal pressure, you can stay really low. You can come in and you can keep your front tire really low and then just pop back in. Whereas a coaster, you have to be up in your balance point. Now, one thing we forgot that we always recommend is that you wear a helmet. Chris forgot to put his helmet on. I personally am not going to forget to put my helmet on because I no, 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 no. I have a lot of knowledge I have to keep safe in my brain. <laughs> Just make sure you're wearing your helmet. Chris wasn't. It's okay. He was so excited to get into this trick tutorial that he just totally forgot to wear his helmet. Anyways, so as you can see from that last one, Chris was really low on that. And with the cassette, you can hop a couple times too because you can just keep cranking it. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do it on a coaster. All right, like I said, on a coaster, it's a little bit of a different trick. So, how I do it is I don't ever do a full 180 because then I'll just roll backwards too far and I can't come to a complete stop. So what I kind of do is I kind of just do a 90. I come up and I try to land perfectly straight dead centered on where I came up. That way I come to a complete stop. So you come in straight like this, you pop up, turn a little 90 degrees and try to land right where you came up. You're really just sticking in your balance point and then right when you want to go in, you're going to drop the nose just slightly, just an inch or two, and then pop the nose back up. Now all that drop is going to do is it's going to give you a little bit of a spring to boost yourself and then point your nose down and get into the transition. Alright, like I said. It's really hard on a coaster. Props to those who have that dialed, because I don't get it. Anyways, that is how you tire tap. Just remember, if you got a cassette, put pedal pressure. The more you spin, the easier it'll be. If you're not gonna spin that much, kind of alley-oop onto the ramp. Get yourself some backwards momentum so you can lock up that back wheel, keep the front wheel in the air. If this tutorial helped you out, click that like button. If you know you're about to go out today and land that trick, smash the like button. If you have any other questions about this trick or you wanna see a different trick tip tutorial, comment below and we're going to be doing a lot more videos like this so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything we'll see you next time